Good afternoon everybody, Detroit Jeep back and today what I have here is I bought a set of top kit off-road LED lighting solutions. I have these, uh, I think they're Oracle um, and they're good, no complaints, I've had them for about two years but I wanted to go ahead and try something different. Reason being is that these uh, lights have the halo which are daylight running lights and you use them as signal lights they turn amber and they flash as you turn which to me will be more safety feature um, I'm also going to be removing these but not today I'm getting smaller fenders because uh, I, when I did my first overlanding the tires were actually hitting up on here and ripped well, ripped, kind of took the paint off of my fender. As you can see here, this one's bent here. And then I go around to the other one and I'll show you, see the paint just peeling away as the tire was rubbing, hitting. But that's gonna be another video when I get the new fenders. They're the, the thinner ones, uh, straight, no, no, uh, lights well, like I said this video here is basically gonna be installation of new headlights they're almost the same difference as these have the halo okay the first thing you want to do is get some good lighting <clears throat> I'm inside the garage so it's kind of a little hard to see with this light second thing is get yourself a number five torque uh, screw here so you can take out the three little heads that are here it's one on each angle Might need to grab a little screwdriver or something. Something with a flat end. Just to make it a little bit easier. I'm trying to be careful because these are not actually black rings. I actually painted these two years ago. There we go. And I don't want them to or get nasty looking if you know what I'm talking about. There we go. Next thing you want to do is change the tip to screwdriver tip. Also you have three uh, screws in here. A little hard to see so I have to get a little handy dandy flashlight. And you know what? I'm wrong. It's not a screw. It's probably the same size torque head. Let me see. And if it is, I'm lucky. Yes, it is. There's, th oh, there's my flashlight. There's three of those. Do you want to go ahead and remove three? Uh, I don't think there's a difference in the screws, but I'm kind of picky, so I don't want to mix them up. Hold on. We got one. No, these have four, not three. Sorry about that. It's two on one side, two on the other. Four screws out. And that's 
this will take the ring off. Put it on the counter. And then this will take the headlight out. See, this is, these are OEDRO headlights. Like I said, I've had them for about two years. Never had any issues, no problems. And they're plug and play. So just unplug them. The next ones will be plugged in. The only difference is there's going to be a wire for the daylight running lights and one for the uh, turn signal. So that's going to be a lot of work. Okay, now that we're back, here's the uh, light. I'm going to take the plastic off so you can just see it better. Um, I'm going to keep it on until I finish so I don't uh, scratch it. But as you can see, you have the regular factory wire, which has the three prongs exactly as you see here, three prongs. So, all you got to do is plug it in. You see here you have a green which is supposed to be for the daylight and the red is signal. Now I'm going to have to find the signal lights here with the daylight running lights. Thank them I'm here so they can work. I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick uh, what these lights look like. Let me pull this off. And uh, lamp right here. And turn the lights on for you. This is what the light looks like with it on. Of course, it's crooked. Let me fix it here. So, there we go. That looks better. Okay, that's what the regular light looks like. Daylight running light is not on yet. Let me show you the high beams. There's the high beams. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try to mess with the wiring, and I will show you exactly how that ends up and what it looks like. Okay, I want to show you where you pull the plugs. Like I showed you earlier, this is the plug to hook up the lights. If you come right over here, this is a 97 TJ. Most of the 97 2006 TJ should all be the same. There's actually a connector which is connected to the body here. Um, when I ran the signal light from the front fender, it came up to the bottom here and came right up here. So what I did was I pushed this pin in, took this piece out, I already did this ahead of time, sorry about that, but just wanted to make the video a little bit shorter. Uh, if you can see here, there is a green wire and a brown wire. The green wire is the daylight running lights. The brown wire is the turn signal lights. And the reason I know it is because I went ahead and got a light tester and I'll show you real quick. Okay, like I said, the green wire, which is the one to the bottom, brown wire is to the top. You're going to go in here. Oops. See my light tester here? It comes on. That's for the daylight driving lights. Daylight driving lights. If I go to the next one, see it blinks. That's a turn signal light. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the black tape back some. And that way it'll be easy to access it. And I'm just going to use clip-ons um, and clip the wire. This, like I said, this is for the headlights. So literally this goes through here. The light's going to be right here. You just got to plug the other two lights right here and plug back in and that should be it. I'll get back with you and show you what it looks like. All right, folks, here's the outcome of the wiring. Uh, like I said, I just had to splice back a little bit, um, as you can see, and tied into the green and the brown and I already checked it, it works fine, and I'm just going to show you guys. Not screwed in yet, I just placed it in here, plugged it in just to make sure that it works. So, let me turn them on for you guys and show you what the outcome looks like. And I kind of like it. I will get the full view 
when the other one is connected. But here we go. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the daylight running lights. That's the daylight running light right there. So you can see it's bright, it's nice and bright. Turns on with your other running lights, which are a little bit dimmer. So I'm going to turn on the regular headlight. That's the headlight. As you can see, it turns on with the halo. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the high beams. You can see what the high beam looks like. Those are the high beams. The angle that I have the camera in, um, it's not giving you a good view because I'm at an angle, it's not straightforward. But I'm going to shut off the high beams. And I'm going to go ahead and put the right turn signal. Like that, there's the right turn signal. And as you can see, it turns, they turn on with your other lights. They look, uh, they look way better, more security. It's one of the reasons why I got it. Um, so people can see you better. So far, I like them. I'm gonna go ahead and install the other headlight. So I'm not gonna show you how I installed it because it's gonna be the same process as this one. But when I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. But here you go, they are very bright. Here's the, the light that's on there now, which is this one. And then here's the new headlight that I'm installing. So far, so good. All right, here we go. I completed the job. I installed both lights. It was not that difficult. Um, the only difficult part was splicing the wires, and to me that's easy. Some people might not be uh, that much uh, mechanically inclined, but it is not hard at all. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the outcome, the final results. This is what it looks like with the vehicle off. This is what it looks like with the daylight running light. This is what it looks like with the regular headlight. This is what it looks like with the high beams. This is the hazard light. Regular beam. Daylight running light. Right signal turn, left signal turn, even with the lights off, right signal turn, and left signal turn. So that's all for right now. Hope you liked the video. Hope you liked the installation. It was a short video, but subscribe, like, and share, and I'll be posting more videos soon.